to the Schmitter's 100 Acre Woods. So out here today, um, kind of seeing what they've done for uh, the power crew. Haven't been out here for a little bit just because of all the rain, but show you some of what they got going on. Yeah, just want to note, we did get a water meter put in. So one of those small things, but exciting for us. Just one step closer. So they did gravel the drive in. They have the platforms down so that they don't sink in any of that area. And they have that here so they can move dirt and gravel. And this is what we have so far. They've graveled all this in. It's like mainly number fours here. So you can see some of the standing water just because we've had lots of rain. So you can see here, it's been fairly wet. So most spots didn't put in too much gravel, but like here there's kind of a low spot. So they had to put in extra gravel and still it's kind of seeping through. And then this area up here, they had to do quite a bit too because um, it was sloped a little bit. And we had a pretty decent hole right here where the stump was. So there's quite a bit of gravel here. And it looks like they put some 53s in here to help hold this and kind of build this up. So like whenever we build here, we'll take these trees out and um, this will be kind of where some of the building is. So I have stone up to this point. So right around the corner here is another area where we typically had quite a bit of um, standing water. here and the excavator some. Um, the skidster's hill here, but it looks like the excavator they've already moved on to another job. So they'll keep moving that gravel back. But there was the stump back here, if you guys remember the sycamore stump. that was here. They've taken that all gone and pushed it that way it looks like. And kind of widened this out so they'll be bringing gravel this direction and uh, going up the hill and all the way around. So making some progress and getting a
actually here we are a week later um, kind of picking up where we left off so here they've gotten everything graveled and they have put the ripraft up so any of the banks that they cut or anything they had to do with like that they had the ripraft so you notice that one back there and the biggest one that's noticeable is this up here where the stump was they got that stump out and then they got the ripraft all on that And most of the stuff that they put in were number four gravel, but going up this hill, they actually put in some 53s. So it has the lime dust in it, so it really lets it pack in and won't just run off whenever it rains or uh, spin the tires when going up the hill. So coming up around the corner to the Kind of the little stream that constantly feeds the pond. They did put the bags around that so you don't have excess water and stuff go in. And then they did put a board across that, um, one of those plates so that it kind of helps disperse the weight across and you don't have to worry about ruts. And then coming up this hill, coming up, they did all 53s on that as well. And as I mentioned there in the video, it's much wider, so that's definitely a nice aspect. And they had to do some riffraff there that they wanted to shore that up. And they cut that bank. And then it kind of, they curved it around and started headed back our path just a little bit. So that'll get them back to that next the post. Frontage. So they have the road up this big hill and went just around the corner there. They're gonna work on that pole structure as well while they're back here. So um, they made a road back to it and then they'll be putting those wooden uh, platforms down around that so that they can replace the, that pole as well as the one right back over there. So that's why they ended up graveling up this hill. So unfortunately I didn't get any of the footage of them working just due to time, but can I see what they got done? So hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, catch you next time.